Today I'm excited to share the best 25 tips, tricks and hidden features that you should try on your Meta Quest 3S. So with that being said, let's kick things off with tip number one. The Quest 3S is known for its bad comfort and weak battery out of the box. To make your playtime more pleasant, I highly recommend using a premium head strap, such as the Bobo VR S3 Pro, featuring hot swappable batteries, a cooling fan and has a flip up design as well. If you're interested, there is an affiliate link in the description below. Tip 2 is all about virtual screens. If you want to turn your surroundings into a movie scene that came straight out of Minority Report, then you can bring your PC screens into your physical space using the app Immersed. It's great for watching movies, working on projects or playing amazing games. Tip 3. When you're not home or simply do not have time to put on the headset but still want to install a game or two, then you can do that from afar. Just grab your phone, open the Horizon app and in the games library choose what you want to download. As long as the headset is not completely turned off, it will instantly start downloading the game to the headset. In tip 4 I show you how to not destroy your furniture. That's right, for those of you who enjoy high intensity VR experiences, you may want to consider a floor mat. Not only does it keep you centered, preventing those accidental collisions with furniture, but it adds another layer of safety while you can focus on the action. The one you see here is from a brand called Proximat. Tip 5. Share what you see with your family. When you want to show off your VR gameplay to friends and family, use the casting feature. You can stream what you're seeing to a TV, computer or mobile phone, making it easy for others to join in on the fun. Next up is tip 6. Hosting a virtual house party, minus the trash. Yeah, did you know you can bring your friends into your space? Well, to make the magic happen, you start by inviting them through your uh, friends list, enable the pass through and voila, your living room is now a shared virtual area where you can chit chat or uh, play games. Tip 7. Spiders inside your quest. Ooh, this might sound strange, but some users, like YouTuber Markiplier, have found spiders inside their headsets. It's a rare occurrence, but it's always worth checking the dark corners of your Quest 3S before putting it on, just in case. Tip 8. Game on a giant screen. Let's say you like to play 2D titles on the side, but don't necessarily have a computer or a console, then you can use the Xbox Cloud Gaming app. As a Game Pass subscriber, you can stream your favorite games from the cloud directly to Quest 3S. All you gotta do is pair your controller via Bluetooth and you're ready to enjoy the best Microsoft has to offer. Tip number 9. The pass-through life hack. Next to the action button, you can double tap the side of your headset to instantly turn on the pass-through. Double tap again when you're ready to dive back into VR. Tip 10. How to tweak your game performance. To push your Quest 3S's performance to the limit, you may want to try the Quest Games Optimizer software. This app lets you tweak graphics, sharpness and battery life to optimize your gaming sessions. I've had a very positive experience with this, so I'll make sure to leave a link in the description. Tip 11. Customizing your avatar. You can fully personalize your Quest 3S avatar with outfits from well-known brands, both free and paid. You can show off your style and supported apps like Horizon Worlds and more. And there is a wide selection to choose from, so be creative and uh, go well. Tip number 12. Extend your home screen. On the Quest 3S you can start with a single window but easily drag and drop apps to your left and right to extend your menu. This is great for multitasking or managing your mixed reality activities more efficiently. Plus you can even dim your screens if you want to. Tip 13. Get yourself a passcode. If you don't want others to access your headset, you can make use of a passcode. This is like a secret catchphrase that you only know about. You can find it on the Horizon app under headset settings and then passcode. Tip 14. Quickly record and share gameplay. Want to capture your favorite moments in VR, then simply hold the meta button on your right controller and simultaneously press the trigger to take a screenshot or record a clip. You can later share these directly to social media via the mobile app. 
Tip 15. PC VR Streaming For those with a fast computer or laptop, Steam Link lets you wirelessly connect your Quest 3S to play PC VR games. Unlocking this feature gives you access to cutting-edge gaming experiences like Half-Life Alyx and Lone Echo, all without wires by the way. Check the description below for a full setup guide if you're interested in giving it a try. Tip number 16. Secret eye settings. Ooh, as you may know, you can adjust the lenses by switching between three settings. Setting 1 is 58mm, setting 2 is 63 and setting 3 is 68mm. But if you want, you can also sit between those numbers by carefully sliding the lenses in between two settings. This gives your eyes a bit more breathing space when needed. And to know what your exact IPD is, you can use the Eye Measure app to find out what the distance between your eyes is. It's a very useful app and you know where you can find it. Description. Tip 17. Challenge accepted. So for the completionists, most games on Quest 3S feature achievements that you can unlock. Some of them are real difficult to get, while others are more hidden away. You can find them in the mobile app by going to your profile and from there you can see your status or even compare them to your friends. Tip 18. Do not leave your headset in the sun. When you are not using your Quest, make sure to store it away, okay, from any direct sunlight, as this can damage your lenses. I'm real, even if it's only for a few seconds, it can seriously ruin your entire headset in no time. And I'm not sure if the warranty covers that, so please be careful. Tip 19. Did you know you can download custom home environments for your Quest 3S? Yes, from Minecraft to Gorilla Tag, there's plenty to choose from. To be able to rock these, you need to use SideQuest and from there you can install a wild lineup of environments. I've made a tutorial not that long ago that tells you all you need to know. It's in the description. What a surprise. Tip 20. Why rely on controllers or hand tracking alone? Because the Quest 3S also allows for voice commands, so you can easily launch apps or navigate to different settings without lifting a finger. Tip 21. When you're looking to earn some game credit, you can utilize Meta's referral system. In the Horizon app, you generate a link, share it and then when a friend buys a game with it, they get a 15% discount, while you score a dollar in store credit. It's not much, but hey, it's better than nothing. Tip numero 22. Tracking your fitness routines. I'm not really the target audience here, but if you want to turn your VR sessions into a workout, then consider the MetaQuest Move app, which uh, tracks your steps, calories burned and overall activity. Anyways, tip 23 is more my jam. Night mode for late sessions. For those of you sensitive to bright screens or who like to play uh, late at night, try reducing the brightness or activate the night mode. This will soften the screen's intensity, making it easier on the eyes right before you go to bed. Tip 24. If you're sensitive to motion sickness or simply new to VR, then make sure to check out the comfort ratings on games before you purchase them. They're a bit hard to find nowadays, so here's an example of where it's located. Last but not least, we got tip 25. Gift games to friends and family. Yes, this is how you do it. First find a game you want to gift, then hit that blue button in the right corner that says gift and then choose the person you like. Write a personal message and from there the code will automatically be sent to the person's email address. And funny enough, it's not only available on the Quest itself, but you can also do this on your mobile phone. So there you go. I hope these were useful. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more Quest content. Bye bye.